Hello, my name is Zoe and I work for Dun Wildlife Trust and today I'm going to show you how to build a moth trap. Now you may think moths are the ugly versions of butterflies but that couldn't be further from the truth. There are day flying moths like the burnet moth which are really colourful and there are night flying moths like the death's head moth which are really cool and camouflaged and can actually sort of match their patterns to the background that they're on. How to make a moth trap? You will need a bright sheet, a washing line, pegs and torches. Moths navigate by positioning themselves and flying on a fixed angle relative to the celestial light sources like moons and stars. They are drawn to bright lights because they confuse the animal's navigational systems. If the position of the moon or stars is not obvious, moths instead use geomagnetic signals, the Earth's magnetic field. Top tips. Choose a warm night with little wind and preferably decent cloud cover. If you are using a traditional moth trap or making a trap, consider the type of light you use. Brighter lights will attract more moths, but they may annoy your neighbours. Don't just rely on your trap. Grab your family and head out with a torch at night to check your windows, walls and plants for moths. Avoid touching moths' wings directly as you can easily damage them. Attract moths to your garden by planting pollinator-friendly plants such as jasmine, honeysuckle, buddleia or fuchsia as they are all favourites and loved by insects. Avoid trapping every night, especially in small gardens, as it can stop the moths from going about their normal behaviours, such as feeding and mating. Try to do the moth trapping at night, as the traps left until the day can affect their sensory systems. There are lots of ways you can help moths in your garden. You can build insect hotels and bug mansions. You can think about lighting and make sure that the light you use is only on when you need it and shining downwards, not upwards. You can provide water, which is needed by all animals. You can identify these moths, both daytime and nighttime, using our Wildlife Watch ID sheets. Why not take action for insects and help create a wilder future for all animals? Go to our website to find out more.